Mike the disgruntled mechanic here. What I'm going to show today is um, one of the tests that you can do with the U-Scope. bought the U-Scope a while ago. I didn't have time to actually work with it and try it out. But one of the things I have used it for, which I think is pretty cool, is the relative compression test. So we're going to set this up and show you how to do the relative compression test. So one of the little extras I bought with it is this little tail here that goes from this scope to a BNC that fits to my uh, amp clamp. So now I can do the test with this. So I have the amp clamp so I have the amp clamp hooked up here. I have it on. Make sure you have it going the right direction. Um, I'll show you what else I got hooked up and then we'll do a little U-scope test. So I unhooked the injectors so it doesn't try to start. Um, I don't think this has a clear flood mode but it was just simple because all the injector connectors are right here so we did that. So that was the first thing. Now I'll show you a little bit on how to set up the U-scope. So the first thing we'll do is we'll turn it on, which is a switch here on the side. And then to do the cranking test, um, you have options down here. We're going to come over to Menu. We're going to hit OK. We're going to go down to Presets. We're going to hit OK. And then you have many settings here. But what we're going to go down to is Amp. And if you see up top there, it actually says L crank amp. That is what we want. So what you got to do then is you got to press and hold the OK till you see those change color to the green. So what they give you is they give you an example of what it should look like, which is pretty nice. But when you're doing the real world test, that can be a pain. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in the menu, which is all the way here on the right, the M. We're going to hit OK. We're going to go down to Presets again. And then all the way down at the bottom is Ref Show. So we'll scroll down to, scroll down to that. Then you got to hit your left and right arrows to turn it on or off the to toggle between it. So we're going to turn it off and we're going to hit OK. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the capture I made. So to do that, what I did was I put it on a single event, because that's really all I want to see with a crank test. So we're going to make sure our, um, our amp clamp is on, we're hooked up, and we're going to go and we're going to turn it over and get a pattern. So now, we got a nice pattern, but if we want to see it a little better, what we can do is we can actually scroll, we can scroll back, either way, we're going to change our um, voltage a little bit, amps. So what we're going to do is we're just going to change the time base. Wrong way. We're just going to get it a little bigger. Too much. So we'll bring it back. That's, that's the best we can get right there for now and keep it in the picture. Then what we're going to do is scroll over and change the time base. So you get a little bit better picture of what you're doing by doing that. And you can see all of our cylinders are relatively equal. And that was the point of this test. I think I'll take it a little further just to show you if you actually want to see just some readings on this. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll scroll to menu again. We'll hit OK. And then we're going to go to cursors. And hit OK. So then you can see we have voltage 1, voltage 2, time 1, and time 2. 
what we're going to do with the cursors is we are going to turn on the voltage. So now we scroll down to our voltage and now we're going to use the arrows here to trigger it on or off. So now we turned it on. So now we have our two vertical ones. So make sure you're on your V1 and then you can move these little cursors up and down by going down here to your left and right button. So we're going to move it down and if you see the numbers up top here are changing as I do it. And then we'll go down to V2 and we'll move that one up and you get it pretty close to where your humps are and then if you want you know you could see the difference in the uh, amps or however you you know whatever you may need to look at uh, the top one you can see it's at 154 amps so that is just a little quick little lesson on the U scope and doing the uh, relative compression test with it so uh, maybe it'll help somebody so this is Mike the disgruntled mechanic saying hey if you can get somebody else to do it you're probably better off thanks for watching see you next time Oh, you dirty, rotten bull, bull! How could you break off? You dirty, rotten mother! Oh, dirty, rotten! How dare you break? It, oh, I can't believe it broke off! Not again! Oh, man alive! Son of a... Oh, I can't believe it broke off! Jesus! No wonder I'm the disgruntled mechanic!